this is the bearded trader september 1st this is the market recap of today's trades had a great day today made a little over thousand dollars which was our goal knowing that today's friday right before a holiday market tends to get a little sluggish not too many people are in the market not that much volume but all in all it was a great day um Hope everyone is having a great weekend this weekend and enjoying yourself. Let's jump right into it. Our first trade of the day was Snap. We saw that Snap was hitting some resistance up around the uh, 1520 area. Uh, let me show you from what actually happened yesterday. As you can see this candle right here, and this is the low of yesterday snap had pushed up to this 50 period moving average uh several times i think like five times to be exact and could not break through that area so that lets you know hey demand at this level is non-existent people do not believe snapchat is worth 15 dollars a share so what what happens people start to sell as they start to sell supply increases which would cause the price to drop so going into this morning i said well if snap gets down to that 1450 area then i would look to actually short some snapchat so when the market opened up it opened right at 1450 i said okay well let's let it breathe a little bit and see what happens from there you know um, i knew i wanted to short it but i can't guarantee so look at the five minute chart it opened up at, at uh 1450 pushed a little got a little high right there but for the most part it didn't sell it off and i entered a long position roughly 14 was that 1445 area sold half the position on that pullback then sold another quarter quarter position right here at this yellow line 1420 area and then let it fall all the way back down to 1410 1411 and just continue to scale out and like always hey when you're able to scale out and take profits there's only one thing you can do you gotta say paycheck because you're paying yourself whether it's going up or going down you're paying yourself you know at the end of the day it doesn't matter to me what snapchat does whether it goes up it goes down i have no feelings i have no emotions towards it i just want to make money off the stock and that's what happens so if you look hey when it released released earnings it gapped down to this low eleven dollars and has been trading higher ever since and part of the reason was the snap initial offering had some restricted shares and they released that those restrictions would be lifted, letting people to buy or sell their position who had bought before the IPO. It's probably why I was pushing higher, but I don't think Snapchat is worth $15. But hey, who am I? I'm just a bearded trader. So if it pushes lower Tuesday, Wednesday next week, I'll be shorting it again, making more money off of it. So that was a great trade today. That was a short trade on Snapchat and let's take a look at what was next what did we get into next uh was it macy's all right so macy's is finally getting out of the gutter a little bit retail stocks are being hammered so we had a bull flag set up on macy's let me draw this line for you. let me remove that and get a trend line so if you look we got a flagpole form right here then we have our actual flag support area right here giving us a bull flag setup so what do we look for bull flag setups as we look for buyers to step in and form an area of support that's what we got we got this low but nothing broke below that low so buyer stepped in, formed the area of support on this pullback. And as the stock pulled back a little bit, we're looking for the first stop 
to make a new high with increased volume and we get it right here on this candle so we want to want to want to see a candle form above that high would give us increased volume so if you look right here we had volume increase from this candle to that candle roughly 60,000 more shares went off and as it did I entered a long position at what was it 2119 yeah enter a long position at 2119 now Macy's is a stock that has roughly 300 million shares of float the float is the total number of shares that you can trade on a given day so with 300 million shares that lets you know that there's not going to be a great of a move within macy's because it's hard to get an imbalance between buyers and sellers because it's, it's so many shares outstanding so knowing that i said well i'm just going to take the first pop i'll take it up to 19 24 25 and i'll just go ahead and sell out so roughly 30 dollars profit on macy's even though it did pop up to 21 32 it was fine i was just looking for a small small pop i knew the bull flag setup was a great pattern and i knew taking that setup would actually help with training other people to recognize the setup so when you see this bull flag pattern formation Look for the first candle to make a new high with increased volume. Verify that you have a, a level of support underneath you and enter enter the trade. You know, don't be scared to pull the trigger. You gotta you gotta be able to buy and sell in this market. If you can't do that, just stay on the sidelines. Next, we took a trade on uh what was it HTZ? No, I'm sorry. Well, let me do this. NT, NTCX took a trade on NTCX, which was an actual a, a great trade. So if we look, we got a our U-shaped bottom formation right here. Let me. So we had a push higher to this this higher day, and the stock fell back. I draw the circle in there so you can see it. The stock basically circled, made this circle pattern. You know, sellers couldn't push the market lower. They tried to push the market lower, but buyers kept stepping in. Every time they got low, buyers would step in. You know, it got lower there. Buyers would step in. Buyers would step in and finally push the stock back higher. So as the stock started to turn and reverse course, you got an influx in volume. You get this spike right here as volume went up I took a long position so my first target was the high of day which was at this candle right here that's the high of day right there so that was my first target sold half my position and as it went up all I could say was paycheck Cha -ching. so another half and was finally out of the position completely right there and if you look what happened hey it rolled back over you know it's no point of holding this stock you know forever it's no point of getting emotionally tied to a trade as soon as you get emotionally tied to a trade what's going to happen it's going to roll over and you're going to start losing money it's going to go down and down and down and down and you would not be able to stomach that loss so you have to be emotionless in this game this trading game just look at supply and demand find good entry patterns know your exit keep your risk re reward le ratio to 1.5 i mean two two to one or at least a 1.5 to one risk to reward and scale out accordingly. Look for high volume entry areas. When you do enter, make sure you got support underneath you and scale out as you go up. So my first target was right here above that high, second target, and third target. And finally just exit the trade as it rolled back over. That's basics. That's trading 
101 basics you know you can do that next trade was HTZ now HTZ was actually took two positions on it first trade we made on HTZ was a long position first thing in the morning second trade was a short if you look HTZ was very strong yesterday we made good money yesterday off HTZ riding it up so going into this morning I knew could get a could get some follow through possibly a pullback if HTZ can hold a certain level may uh, continue to go higher if it can't it will probably pull back so looking at the high from yesterday roughly is this 20 2280 2180 area 85 area so I said okay well if HTZ can break above this high I'll go long so we opened right here 20 uh, 2180 as soon as we broke above the high I entered the long position and it continued to go volume picked up as the market got higher more people started buying and with that said I started scaling out of my my position roughly just a small size I think 2,000 shares but was able to take profits on the way up and ring the register every time it went up that was a nice trade it's a, a small continuation from the previous day so once we exited the trade once I exited the trade I kept my eyes on it thinking okay well it's probably gonna fall back and when it falls back I want to start shorting it you know you can be a buyer and a, and a seller in this market don't stick to just one one way of trading be a little fluid so we get this top right here that lets me know hey sellers are stepping in buyers could buyers can't hold that level sellers step in push the stock lower our very next candle was a doji candle which lets you know hey buyers and sellers are neutral so if buyers and sellers are neutral that means the buyers are actually really getting weaker because you know all morning the stock has been strong so now if they're neutral that tells me hey I need to become a, a seller because from the open all the way up here it was none but buyers so now they're neutral hey I need to start selling because everybody's selling so I'm looking for the first candle to break below this um, low of this candle right here on which is what's this 22 20 through 30 I'm looking for the first candle to break below that and boom we get it volume picks up I continue to stay in the trade I sell a quarter of my position on this candle then sell half my position on this candle and then I sell the remaining of my position down here so that was a great trade you know made a little over eight hundred dollars on that trade it was very successful you know we bought during one time frame this morning and then we bought and then we sold you know HTZ has been good we got all these u-shaped bottoms u-shaped bottoms breaking through resistance hitting a little um, uh, resistance right there getting a small pullback to this previous day support you know yesterday this was an area of resistance if you look right here this was an area of resistance so you know seller stepped in pushed the market pushed the stock down found some support we broke through that resistance yesterday so now the only thing we can do is come back and test it you know we're coming back to verify that hey that is a true level of support now it was it was resistance previous resistance becomes new support so we're going to test it and see if we can hold it and that's what we did we pushed higher to form a new high of day and then fell right back down so if that area can hold you know Tuesday Wednesday next week this stock may continue to go higher and I want to be a buyer if it does so that's HTZ you have to be fluid in this market you have to be able to buy and sell you have to be able to go long and short you gotta be able to trade bull flags and bear flags. Trade. You know, triple this tops. This is Trading no 101 posted trade. by the Bearded Trader. Bearded.
Traitor.